PTI spindle technology again. Uh, I want to do a final demonstration of the iPad vibration analyzer actually being used in an actual application. We have here a drive motor running at 3600 RPM. It's on a test stand for spindles, but what we're going to do is I mounted the two accelerometers on the outside of the base so that we can show you on the analyzer that we can even pick up the running speed of that uh, drive motor actually on the base of the stand and then I'll move them onto the drive motor so that we can see uh, some different things that I'll get into as we go along. I'll launch up the app. As you can see on the app we've got a full uh, spectrum graph and then our list of top 10 frequencies on the bottom. I'll go ahead and hit play which will start the vibration readings. As you can see it takes the full spectrum all the way out to 1.2 million CPM. I will simply pinch with the touch interaction here to look at the very small end or the low frequency end where this drive motor is actually running. And as you can see I can find running speed here very quickly even though I'm, I have my accelerometers on the base. Now what I'd like to show you if I move this accelerometer to the actual motor itself you're going to see my one accelerometer, I've got two running here, really peek over the second one that's only running on the base. So I can see differences between where the amplitude of something rotating is coming from. But I'll even show you something further. If I mount on this cover here, it's very loose. You can see I'm shaking it. That's how we detect looseness. We can put the, our accelerometer on the base. You can see here, now I have multiples of that running speed that come up right away that tells me that, that, that this cover is loose or some shaft journals are loose, whatever the case is, but this is how we detect looseness with the iPad, iPad vibration analyzer.